How Biomass Works Biomass is the name for a range of organic materials that can be used to produce energy. Examples include forestry products, energy crops like miscanthus, also known as elephant grass, and agricultural byproducts like straw. We can generate heat or electricity from biomass in a way that is close to carbon neutral over the material's life cycle. To understand the environmental benefit of using biomass, let's look at how fossil fuels like coal, oil and natural gas are created. Plants absorb carbon dioxide or CO2 from the air as they grow. When they die, some of the carbon from the CO2 remains trapped in the decaying vegetation. Over millions of years, these buried layers of vegetation are compressed and transform into either coal, oil or natural gas. The carbon that was removed from the atmosphere is effectively locked underground. Now let's look at two ways you could heat a house. The first example uses a fossil fuel, coal. Coal is extracted from the ground and transported to the house. This process produces CO2 emissions. The fuel is then burnt, providing heat. CO2 from the fossil fuel is released into the atmosphere, increasing CO2 levels. Coal reserves are being depleted and atmospheric CO2 levels are rising. This life cycle is unsustainable. Let's look at a biomass alternative, in this case, wood. A tree grows, absorbing several years' worth of CO2 from the atmosphere. The carbon from that CO2 is trapped within the tree. Firewood is harvested and transported to the house. This process produces CO2 emissions, and we will come back to these later. The wood is burnt, providing heat. The CO2 absorbed by the tree is released back into the atmosphere. New trees are grown and the cycle continues. The fuel is being replaced and CO2 emissions are minimal. This life cycle is sustainable. CO2 emissions from processing and transportation can be offset by growing more biomass than is required for fuel. We have shown how biomass can heat a house, but the idea can be scaled up. Instead of using the wood for heat, it could be used in a power station for generating electricity. To be environmentally beneficial, the life cycle must be well managed. If we use biomass faster than we grow it, we end up with more CO2 in the atmosphere and deforestation. This is unsustainable. If we grow enough biomass to replace what is being used, we have a sustainable system. It would even be possible to reduce atmospheric CO2 using this model. Well-managed biomass can be regarded as a source of renewable energy.